Hey, I'm Javon from Pickard USA. Today we're going to show you how to rake a 2013 Rogue Glide using our builder's kit. In our builder's kit, you'll find the neck channel, the lower, the upper U channels, and the two side plates. Before marking the frame, we're going to take a measurement from the neck and the backbone using our angle gauge. Now I'm going to show you how to set up the cut lines for a 09 and up bagger frame. Next we're going to make a mark approximately half inch behind the fork lock plate. Go straight down to the weld crease and we're ready to cut. Let's cut this up. Now that the neck is cut, we're going to prep the inside and the outside of the frame and the neck for the neck block. Now we're going to grind about an inch back from the cut and deburr the inside of the frame. And let's do the same thing to the neck. That's it. When you're finished grinding the neck, it should look like this. Make sure all the powder coat has been taken down to the bare metal and check the inside edge to make sure there's no burrs. Next, we're gonna mark for the plug wells, two on each side and one on the top. We're gonna mark about a half inch from the cut line, about here and here. Repeat that on the other side as well as the top. Now let's mark the neck in two positions about a half inch behind the cut line. Now that we've marked the frame and the neck, we're ready to drill the holes. I like to use a quarter inch drill bit to start the pilot holes. Next we use a half inch bit to drill out the plug weld holes. Drill the neck to the plug wood holes. I like to use a drill press to make life a little easier. Same thing on the other side. Now we'll switch to the half inch bit to drill out the plug wood holes. Now we need to take a hand file and take the burrs off the holes we just drilled on the inside of the neck. We'll be doing the same thing with the file on the inside of the frame. The nice thing about our builder's kit is that it's long enough so you can set your own stretch. For this project, we're going to cut it back two inches. Next, we're going to cut off the corners of the neck sleeve so we can set our neck rake angle. I like to use a bandsaw for this step, but if you don't have one, you can use a cutoff wheel. After the neck sleeve's been prepped and cut, we'll slide it into the backbone and clamp it to the sides. And now we'll slide the neck onto the neck sleeve and set the neck angle with the gauge. For a 26 inch wheel, you should be nine degrees over stock. We went inch and an eighth in the stretch. You can set yours however you like. Now that we've got the neck set, I'm gonna tack the sleeve to the frame to hold it in place. Okay, let's do it. Now we're going to move the clamps forward to set the neck in place. Now that the neck is clamped, let's double check the angle before we tack it in place. Now let's tack in the neck. Now
Now we'll weld the neck, but make sure you jump around so you don't put too much heat into one area. Now that we've welded the neck to the frame, we're ready to take a few measurements to prepare our U-channels. On this project, we measured an inch between the two welds, and we're gonna apply that measurement to the U-channel. To fill the lower portion of the frame, we're gonna take two measurements, one from the top, a second from the bottom, and we'll apply that to the larger U-channel. For this project, we measured inch and three quarters on the top, two inches on the bottom, We've transferred that to our U-channel, and now we're ready to cut. And now we're gonna cut the upper channel. And now let's cut the lower U-channel. Now let's deburr the edges and check for fitness. Now that we've cut our channels, let's test for fitness. Perfect. Now let's tack them in. We're gonna use this piece of paper as a template Rub the sides and edges, and we're ready to cut it out. And now for the cutting. Now let's check our template before we cut the side plates. Everything looks good. Now let's mark the side plates. Now let's cut out our side plates. Now we've got our two side pieces. And now we're gonna deburr the side pieces. Now we're gonna bevel the edges for a nice tight fit. Now that we've got the back edges beveled, We'll set it in place and tack it. Now let's tack it in. And we're gonna repeat the same steps on the other side. Now that it's all tacked in, let's start welding. Now that we've welded in all the plates, let's do the plug welds. Grind it down and prep it for paint. That's it, we're ready for paint. For questions about raking your bagger, call us or visit pickerdusa.com.